Eddie, welcome to Home Truths. Okay. Now, what we like to do here is this isn't just a, a slagging match. Right? right. This is this is just an honesty session. Okay. That we like to say. Same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to go first or do you want me to go first? I want you to go first because I want to see how nasty you're going to be. No, okay. Eddie Hearn. Mm. You are only famous because of your dad. I agree. But how relevant? <laughs> because you, my friend, are definitely only famous because of your dad. The difference between me and you is I have something you don't. Talent and ability. I think your dad knew somebody at Capital FM. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Noted. And I think the conversation... Still going. Went, <laughs> ...went something like this. Go on. Do you remember when I did all those favours for you and you used to come on your show and sing live? Well, my son is pretty useless, to be honest with you. And I don't know what I'm going to do with him. You used to once said to me, if I ever need anything, I'm here for you. I need a favour. He's got no talent. He's got no ability. <laughs> He has no prospects. If you could just give him a job somewhere, cleaning, running coffee, anything. And the guy said to him, I promised you a big favor. I'm going to put him in front of the mic. And here you are, Roman Kemp today. Ah, he's won! <laughs> that was only the first one. <laughs> Do you know, Eddie, when I look at you... <laughs> Sorry, yeah. <laughs> when I look at you, and you know, I see the expensive suits. Mm. You know, the facial hair that, that comes and goes from time to time. I do think, wow, it is lovely to see what Mark Wright would look like if he didn't reach fame. Boom. Okay, let's, let's go back to facial hair. <laughs> okay? Because facial hair is about the growth. It's about the shape. It's not about patches. It's not about bum fluff. <laughs> it's not about wispy bits. And when I look at you, I don't see a man. I see a guy that has all those things. In fact, in a heavy wind outside Leicester Square this afternoon, the entire facial hair on your cheeks and chin may disappear. But if you're going to start talking about sartorial elegance, I think you're stuck between styles. I don't think you know what fashion is. I don't think you know what your image is. In fact, sometimes you try and look cool and, you know, I see you at these film premieres and, oh, look, guys, here we are at this premiere tonight. Oh, yeah, I'm Roman Kemp. Oh. And then other times, quite frankly, you look like you've been rolled in superglue and slung through a charity shop window. I don't, I don't know. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's incredible. It's so accurate. I have always preferred Simon Jordan to you. Terrible banter. Terrible it's not banter. banter. It's just true. Well, I've always, I've always preferred Martin Kemp. <sighs> Fine. Well, look, you, you've spoken a lot about money, you know, and we can all, you know, throw figures around and whatnot. And I understand, you know, you're a boxing promoter, and you must buy the finest things in life. You must buy the finest food, and you must buy, you know, the finest, I don't know, colognes, fragrances. So you must have a good nose. So I've always wanted to know, what does Anthony Joshua's ass smell like? Whoa! I like that. That's good. Mm. Um, it smells really good. And a lot of that association and that close relationship has brought me extreme wealth. Um, I, I won't lie. Um, for you, I think money is something... I'm not saying it's your key motivator, but we're going to revert back to point one which is when you have no talent or no ability and you're in an actual job, I think you need to do one of two things. I think you need to save your money because I think your career is extremely limited. And I think you need to look in another direction because right now what I see from, I don't know what you do. You know, on one hand, you're an MC, disc jockey, whatever you are. On the other hand, you're, I saw you doing a premiere. On the other hand, you're, I, I mean, I just think that sometimes you have to look at yourself and say, what is my future? Where am I going? And I think the answer is down very fast. <laughs> oh, I can't take this anymore. I can't take this anymore. But Eddie Hearn, everyone!